And what a day of gratitude we have here today. This beautiful, glorious, sunny day. And the supporters of Purdue Bands and Orchestras here join to celebrate this amazing groundbreaking. And of course, to Mark and Sharon, your gift has made this dream a reality, and we thank you so much. So then it really happened. Last December 6, 2019, the very special Board of Trustees meeting, when this facility was finally voted on in committee. Then it had to go to the official vote, to the full board vote. And as my husband Doug keeps saying, there is no crying in trustee meetings, but I just lost it when it came to the unanimous full board of trustees vote for Hegel Hall. As you heard, I was a clarinet player in the concert band and as a twirler in the All-American Marching Band. You know, you become an ambassador for Purdue wherever you go. You become a part of a family, part of something that is bigger than just yourself. It gave me so much, and it will give so many students so much. I love to talk about the arts at Purdue. Sometimes I, you know, it's my job. My, this, this, the, the essence of my job is to cheerlead and brag for this university, which is such an easy assignment. And uh, as often as not, I like to start in a way people don't expect, and that's talking about the importance of the arts here. The virus could not stop beautiful music and we weren't gonna let it stop Purdue either. So I wanna thank every musician who took part, obviously Jay and those who lead him. You, know, you have been a, uh, a real ray of this kind of sunshine all fall and we cannot thank you enough. Mark and Sharon Hagel are more than wonderfully generous people, more than great role models of, of uh, personal and professional success for every Purdue student to learn about and to uh, try to emulate. We will never be able to thank you adequately, but we're gonna to try to start right now. Please thank and welcome our friends, Mark and Sharon Hagel. Wow, what can I say? I'm not sure he's gonna get through this. <laughs> I've been working on this for a lot of years. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's a project of passion, not just a project of, uh, of contribution to the university. And uh, Sharon and I are incredibly, incredibly grateful that we've been able to be a part of it. You know, opportunity's a funny thing. Fate will present you with opportunities. And, uh, and the question is whether or not you take advantage of those opportunities and create your own future as a result of it. Think of the opportunities and the experiences that are going to be possible that we're passing forward today. Think of the life experiences and the opportunities of future band members with this building located in the center of campus on 3rd Street, the main corridor between the residence halls and the main campus. Think of the opportunities they will enjoy from this location interacting with the student body. Think of the opportunities to create new traditions for the university. And then relate all of that to the fellowship, the bonds, the relationships, and the opportunities to be created between the future graduates and Purdue University. We're not making a charitable donation here today. We're making an investment in the future of this university. The band department plays a terrifically strong role in building those bonds and those relationships and building the future of the university. So yes, yeah, Sharon and I are honored and proud to have contributed some money for this project, but mostly we're excited about the investment in the future. Thank you, Purdue, for all you've done for me, and thank you do what you do for everybody you touch. We really appreciate it. This is an exciting time for Purdue bands and orchestras. As you just saw, last November we celebrated the historic groundbreaking of our new home, Hagel Hall. Thanks to the amazing generosity of Mark and Sharon Hagel and so many of our alumni and friends, 
Our department is moving out of the basements in the Elliott Hall of Music and Slater Center into a brand new state-of-the-art facility in the heart of campus. The total cost for our new home is $22.5 million. We hope you will come alongside us and help Purdue bands and orchestras reach the finish line. This is the most significant project we've taken on in our department's 134-year history, and we need each one of you in order to make it happen. In a few moments, as we take you inside our new home to get a glimpse at what parts of the facility will look like, we'll also highlight some unique giving opportunities that may resonate with you. We hope you'll connect with our development staff to explore the opportunities that work best for you. For now, let's take a look at Hagel Hall. Our new building will sit on the corner of 3rd and Russell Streets, an incredible location in the heart of campus and a fitting home for the heartbeat of Purdue. To start, I'm going to take you just inside the building on the main level. This rendering shows what you will see the moment you walk into Hagel Hall. Please keep in mind these renderings are not final and certain design elements may be a bit different in the actual facility. This main floor will have plenty of seating for our students to collaborate, study, and relax between classes. This area will be named for Board of Trustees member and an incredibly supportive alumna of our program, Vanessa Castagna. It will have two-story ceilings and will be surrounded with floor-to-ceiling windows. When it's not being steered around the campus, the world's largest drum will be housed in a secure glass display at the front corner where it can be seen from the street. Every floor will include restrooms and as you can see on the left, will be accessible by elevator. Although both of these features are common in most buildings today, they will be long-awaited upgrades from our current facilities. Across the back wall, you'll see displays of our department's unique history. This wall will extend up past the second floor to a two-story ceiling and will be completely visible from the main floor. It's important to us to recognize those whose support will make this building a reality. Because of that, this wall will also feature the names of everyone who gives $1,000 or more to the Hagel Hall project. If you're looking to honor a family member or friend with a love for our program, this is a perfect way to do it. For $1,000 or more, you can show your support and put your name on Purdue Bands and Orchestra's history. The first floor will be home to the main administrative office and the office for the director of bands. Our students and visitors will have no issues finding the office and it will make our entire department much more inviting to the rest of campus. As the first touch point in our new building, this administrative suite will represent the welcoming and accessible atmosphere that our students have come to expect from our entire faculty and staff. I'm especially excited about the large open student collaboration space on the first floor. Our students are central to everything we do, and we could not function as a department without the thousands of hours our student volunteers put in each semester. Our volunteer management team assists in nearly every area of the department to ensure we can provide unique performance opportunities for students at Purdue. Hagel Hall will give more space and resources to these students who give so much back to the department. This year, we were excited to add a brand new team led by jazz alto saxophonist and Golden Silks Color Guard member, Nadia Muhammad. The volunteer management team is divided into eight separate student volunteer groups focused on different needs of the department. Last fall, Purdue Bands and Orchestras created the Inclusion, Diversity, Equity and Awareness Team, or IDEA for short. The team's focus is providing a safe space for all current and future Boilermakers. The students on this team, just like the others, work hard alongside the faculty and staff to fulfill the Purdue Bands and Orchestras mission. With new offices and areas for student collaboration, Hagel Hall will give all eight of our teams more space and organization to better serve the department. Our student ensembles continue to grow as more and more Purdue students want to continue their passion for music while they pursue a non-music degree. Hagel Hall is specifically designed to maximize performance opportunities for these students and ensure 
we can accommodate the growing demand for our ensembles. The basement, first, and third floors will each include large rehearsal halls for our bands and orchestras. Practice rooms and instrument lockers will be included throughout the building, making it easier than ever for students who want to play outside of rehearsal time. Here you can see a common space outside the Al G. Wright Rehearsal Hall on the third floor. This area will include a small kitchenette for faculty and staff and additional seating for students between rehearsals. As you can see in the back right corner, the building will feature floor to ceiling windows in many areas, making the best use of natural lighting throughout. The third floor will also include a large conference room and additional faculty and staff offices. Our rehearsal rooms on the first and third floors will have two-story ceilings and windows across the top, creating a spacious rehearsal environment. The walls will hold acoustical treatments to allow the best sound quality for the size of the room. It will also be soundproofed, ensuring multiple rehearsals can take place simultaneously throughout the facility. Unlike Room 15 in Elliott Hall of Music, where most of our ensembles rehearse, the new rehearsal halls will have the entire ensemble seated on the same level, just like they are during concerts. The rehearsal room on the first floor will connect directly with the percussion studio that will provide special storage and rehearsal space for percussion students in all of our ensembles. The studio will also keep percussion equipment safe and secure when it's not being used. As I mentioned earlier, the building's largest rehearsal room on the third floor will be named the Al G. Wright Rehearsal Hall, carrying on the extraordinary legacy of our university's second director of bands. Last September, Dr. Wright passed away at the age of 104. We are so grateful for his decades of service to this program and we are thrilled to honor him in our new home. Just a few weeks after Dr. Wright's passing, we lost another very dear friend, our number one Purdue Band fan, Jim Wallace. Jim donated over two decades to documenting the All-American Marching Band's history, taking photos and videos of band members at rehearsals and performances. If the band was there, so was Jim. On the fourth floor of Hagel Hall, the outdoor terrace performance balcony will be named in Jim's honor. There are a number of ways to show your support or honor a loved one by naming a space in Hagel Hall. You can give directly toward an existing naming project like the Jim Wallace Performance Balcony, or perhaps you're interested in naming one of our various remaining spaces yourself, or you can create your own unique opportunity. That's what some of our alumni tuba players did. I'll let them tell you about it. Hi, I'm Andy. And I'm Allison. The two of us met in the tuba section of the Purdue All-American Marching Band and got married soon after I graduated in 2004. When we heard about Hagel Hall, we were really excited to play a part in supporting the department that gave us so much throughout our time at Purdue. As we thought about the most effective way we could leverage our giving, we decided to make it a team effort. So we reached out to some of our fellow tuba alumni from the last 20 years or so and set a goal to name one of the practice rooms in Hagel Hall. We worked with the department's development staff and reached our goal with over a dozen contributing to the project. It was so fun for us to connect with our fellow tuba alumni and to make our mark on Purdue bands and orchestra's history. Go tubas and boiler up. Andy and Allison represent so clearly the amazing passion of our many alumni and friends. Their excitement around Hagel Hall led them to reach out and connect with the Purdue Bands and Orchestra's family to make a significant impact on our future. We are so grateful for their generosity and that they have taken the lead on this opportunity. In addition to Hagel Hall, construction is well underway on another project for our department. Beginning this fall, the Purdue All-American Marching Band will have a brand new facility next to Hall Practice Field. This addition to the Turf Recreation Exercise Center, or T-REC, will hold all of the marching band's uniforms and instrument lockers. It will also give the band access to the indoor T-REC during rehearsals and game days in case of inclement weather. This addition is another exciting part of the Hagel Hall project. The future of Purdue bands and orchestras could not be brighter. So far, we've raised over $17.5 million for this project. 
but we still have about $5 million to go. We need your help to make it all possible. Maybe like Andy and Allison, you can team up with your fellow alumni, family or friends to collectively name a space. Or you can make a pledge of $1,000 or more to put your name or that of a loved one on our donor wall in the new building. Or maybe you're interested in naming one of our remaining spaces yourself, like our jazz rehearsal hall, practice rooms, the administrative suite, or a faculty member's office. In any case, I hope you'll join me in supporting the next giant leap for our department. I encourage you to connect with me or our development staff, Bob Schreiner and Trudy Guthrie, to explore the best opportunity for you. You can contribute at any level to help us reach our goal. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions. You can also find more information about Hagel Hall at giving .purdue.edu slash bands. If you'd like to make your gift go even further, join us on Wednesday, April 28th for Purdue Day of Giving. Your gifts toward Hagel Hall on that day can make an even bigger impact as we participate in hourly challenges to win bonus funds for the department. I hope you are as excited as I am for the future of Purdue Bands and Orchestras. With your help, we will make the home for our heartbeat a reality. Thanks for tuning in. Take care and hail Purdue.